Quick question I got. Do you need a smartphone to be a professional web developer? Sure answer is no. And there could be some major benefits to it, but some inconveniences as well. So let's dive into the video and see what this is all about. Hey everybody, so I had an interesting question put to me. Somebody wants to get into web design development as a freelancer, but they don't like smartphones. They hate smartphones. I haven't heard this too often, but I've been reading studies lately where people are saying that they find that there's a lot more depression today with younger people uh, and they blame it on smartphones and social media and engagement like that. And I can see that. Like if you go on Twitter and I just use Twitter to do my little tweets about coding and uh, some... Uh, some insights, I, you know, ideas come in my head. I think Twitter is good for that. I use Instagram a little bit for images, but mostly I'm, I'm a YouTube guy, but I don't really engage in the Twitter world, if you will. I don't engage in the whole back and forth because it's really a dumpster fire for the most part. It's incredible. Well, depending on, you know, especially if you go like uh, in the... Uh, you know, in the political arena, it's just, it's just like, ah, uh, people screaming, yelling at each other, going crazy. When I was a kid, there was an old expression that the parents used to say, don't hang around with the bad kids because they're going to have a bad influence on you. And as a kid, you go, uh, what are you talking about, mom? But all the latest, not even the latest, in the last 25 years or so, they've done a lot of studies in behavioral psychology and neurosciences, and this is true. If you surround yourself by a certain group, a certain type of person, somebody who's you know, caustic, always seeing things in a negative light, it's going to have a negative impact on you in terms of your psychology. Your brain will literally uh, adapt to that, to respond to that, and start altering reality based on that perception. Anyhow, that being said, it's uh, going back to this question with regards, can you be an effective freelance web developer without having a smartphone? Short answer is yes, because I did it for years without a smartphone back in the 90s. And uh, so, yeah, of course you can do it. Now, you're just going to have to regiment your day and your communication cycle with your clients. So, and that's a good thing. It's healthy. The worst thing you can do as a freelancer is to let it take over your entire life where you're always like checking your phone. Oh, my, my clients are going to contact me. Oh, no, I got to stop everything that I do and I got to deal with this. You don't want to do that. You want to find yourself in a more balanced situation where there's certain times of the day, certain days of the week that you do your work and other days you take time off. Even within the context of a, of a day, for instance, I tell people, you have to regiment into your lifestyle uh, healthy habits. So make going to the gym or going for a walk for an, a half an hour, an hour, going for a bike ride. You should make that as important and as any other aspect of your day. Even more important. I know it's hard to get your head wrapped around that, especially when you're younger and you're full of, uh, you're full of piss and vinegar, as they say. You got lots of energy and everything is cool. But if you don't in your youth incorporate healthy habits, healthy lifestyle, it won't carry on. You won't get into it when you get into your late 30s and 40s and 50s. And in fact, if you do a lot of working out when you're younger, this will carry through. This is like savings. It's like putting savings into your body. It will pay dividends as you get older. So, you know, I'm, I'm 269 years old now, and because I trained like a madman back in my the day, this still shows up in my body today. I remember a few years back, well, many years back, when I, I you know, I let myself get a little overweight, and not, not huge, you know, but 25 pounds or something, which is bad. And I had, and then I started training again. This, this comes quick. If you start eating bad food, you can put on weight like this. So don't let it happen. Anyhow, so I started training again. And I ripped up my back and I just started training, like literally like a week into it, I, I, you know, my mind remembered the high level of physical condition I had been in once. So I get on the mat to do some training. And so my mind was, oh, I can do this. But my body was not ready for that. Right. And I ripped up my back really bad. 
And so I went and saw a physiotherapist, and the physiotherapist worked on a lot of professional athletes. And he said to me, he was working on me, he said, even though you're out of shape now, he says, I can tell, Steph, that you did a lot of exercise in the past because your body is reacting like that. So that just proves that if you work out a lot when you're younger, it pays dividend later in life in terms of your body structure is just made more robust, stronger. So in your lifestyle, boy, I'm going off on tangents here. In your lifestyle as a freelance developer, as a developer, whether you work for somebody on your own or you start SaaS, you have to incorporate hab have healthy habits within your lifestyle. Usual stuff, don't smoke, don't drink too much, drink lots of water and exercise on a regular basis lightly. So going back to the cell phone thing again, yeah, you can operate definitely without a smartphone. More difficult, but you just have to regiment your lifestyle. And it may be a good thing, by the way, because if you decide no smartphone and when you step away to go for lunch or go for your walk and you don't have your phone with you, you're free of that. Try it one time. If you're a smartphone owner, which 99% of you probably are, just leave it at home one day. The first half an hour, you're going to be like, oh my God, I don't have, I don't have my smartphone. But if you schedule that time for exercise or for relaxation or whatever, you find that it's just much more freeing. It's just much more relaxed. So yes, you can do it. In terms of development and so forth, the only thing I can see as a downside to that is maybe testing your sites that you're developing for people if you're doing front-end work on social. Will they work out? Will they look good on social? I don't know. You could also test that locally on your computer. That's, you know, the simulators and so on, or just resize your browser if you're doing responsive sites. That being said, I always like testing on the real thing just in case. Uh, of course, what you could do in that situation, just have a small tablet and test in that regard. So there you have it. So short answer is yes, you can. Uh, long answer is um, it could be some major benefits because you'll be able to better manage your lifestyle, which ultimately be much, much better for you in the end. But there could be some inconveniences as well, not being able to reach out to people to testing and so forth. So yes, short answer, you can do it. And if it bothers you, then don't use a smartphone and then try other, you know, do as I suggested earlier. All right, I hope you found this useful. Bye-bye.